Now this might look a bit different from my usual videos, and that's because it is. Today I'm going to be talking about GTA 4. GTA 4 was released on April 29th of 2008, a time where the latest iPhone looked like this, and W was still in office. GTA 4 started its development in November of 2004, one month after Rockstar's release of their critically acclaimed Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. With development spanning nearly four years, one would imagine the game would have went through many changes during that time, and they'd be right. One example of this is the character model for Nico. As you can see, his hair was different, his face was slimmer, he was younger, and generally less weathered. It wasn't until the third trailer for the game, which was broadcast in December of 2007, just four months before release, that Nico appeared as his final rendition. This is just one of the many examples I could give of changes between the beta and the finished product of GTA 4, but for this video, I'd like to focus on the changes that exist between what the developers had envisioned for the map, what they initially created, and the map we ended up with. Initially, the developers wanted the game to feature the entirety of Liberty State, because they believed it was the logical next step after the map they had created for San Andreas. Liberty State was to include places like the Caraways, a location based on the Hamptons, which is a region on the east end of Long Island, known for its wealth. The Catskills, a mountain range located 140 miles, or 225 kilometers, north-northwest of New York City, and the Adirondacks, another mountain range located 270 miles, or 435 kilometers, north of the Big Apple. Eventually, the idea of Liberty State was dropped, and that was the end of that. But it wasn't the end for changes in map concepts. Thanks to some in-game files and leftovers, we know that there are some neighborhoods that are missing or would otherwise changed during development. These neighborhoods are Frogtown, Anger Bay, Washington Heights, Goat Herd, Actor Bay, Jefferson Heights, Hedgebury, Richmond, and Norfolk. Not much is known about these neighborhoods, so this next part will be mostly speculation. Frogtown is generally accepted as being based on Turtle Bay. And because there's already an equivalent to Turtle Bay in-game called Hatton Gardens, it is safe to assume that Frogtown was once a beta name for it. Anger Bay is believed to be based on Pelham Bay, which has its own in-game equivalent called Little Bay. Washington Heights is based on, you guessed it, Washington Heights. And its own in-game is Northwood. Goat Herd is thought to be the equivalent of Sheep's Head Bay, because of its name and the in-game road sign on the Broker Duke's Expressway. Sheepshead Bay does not have an in-game equivalent, but based upon the neighborhoods surrounding Sheepshead Bay in real life, and their corresponding in-game equivalents, it likely would have been between Firefly Projects, Outlook, and South Slopes. Actor Bay is regarded as being the equivalent of Kearney, due to the in-game equivalent of Kearney being called Actor. Jefferson Heights is thought to be based on Hamilton Heights, and in employing the same strategy as we used with Goat Herd, we find that Jefferson Heights would have likely been situated between North Holland and Northwood. Due to the in-game road sign, Hedgebury is thought to be the beta name for Firefly Projects. Due to its name, Richmond is thought to be based on Richmond Hill. Based on its surrounding areas, it is believed it would have been between Shotler and Beachwood City. Lastly, Norfolk is almost certainly based on NoHo. This is widely regarded to be fact because the in-game equivalent to Soho is called Suffolk. Being based on NoHo, it would have most likely been in between the Triangle and Easton. Fortunately, we have an image of what one of the beta maps looked like. Unfortunately, it's a terrible resolution because it was used as a small texture in the game, specifically on a phone book. In this beta map, we can see that the Francis International Airport was bigger and had more runways. Happiness Island was shaped differently. Middle Park did not have its iconic lake. The western side of Alderney had a large stretch of land with no roads or buildings on it. There seemed to be less roads than dukes. The abandoned casino in West Dyke was non-existent, and Bohan seems to be closer to Algonquin. And that's all we have on the changes the beta map went through. This is quite fun making this type of video. I've never done anything like it before, uh, which is why the quality may be lacking, and for that I would like to apologize. Uh, but let me know if you like this style of video, or if you think I should just stick to my stream highlights and alternate videos. I really hope you enjoyed, thank you for watching, and until next time, this has been Flores.